there, in general, there's a subsect of fashion, and I know them. I'd like I I speak to these people quite often. There are certain people that are into fashion who are complete edge lords, come all the way to the end. And if you do anything controversial, they actually love it because they're like, "Oh, you're doing something controversial." Like that's actually mm. they'll praise you for it. Um, mm. the, also, the thing is, the 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 problem people had with her show, I genuinely think it was an accident. Um, yeah, because it was the it was the Saudi it was the Saudi flag on the skirt, and you're mm -hmm. not supposed to use the flag in that way. But flags were like what the show revolved around. So I think it was just poor research beforehand. And yeah, you can argue mm -hmm. that she did something wrong by not researching it. But I don't think it was spiteful, personally. So the mistake that Moa made is not the collection itself, because obviously everyone doesn't know everything about the world. The mistake that she made was when the Saudi Arabian community told her that you can't use the flag in that way because there's um, Islamic iconography and like text in, that's actually on the flag that can't oh, yeah, be used like, Cry me a river. in that way. Yeah. And then she said, cry me a river is where she <laughs> is where she messed up. What she should have done is, oh, mm. the collection is actually about flags. I didn't know that, you know, this was like kind of like this means this. This is what the text on the Saudi Arabian flag means. Um, it was just like, yeah, that's how she should have handled it. And everyone would have moved on. Happy days. And then she, but she, then said, she apologized afterwards. Yeah. She like, said cry me a river. You were saying cry me a river. And now you're apologizing. Yeah. She, she, she said cry me a river. I thought she was an edge lord, And they packed the. They, they just oh, heaped on her. Like they pounced on her like hyenas. Yeah. And it got to the point where it was uncontrollable. And then that's when obviously she then apologized. But by then. That apology literally means nothing when you've already said "Climb Me a River," mm. so it's just like, yeah, she got in her feelings, and a lot of designers do do that. Unfortunately, I do think it's because a lot of designers haven't been critiqued a lot because a lot of them. I I think of it this way: if you're a designer and you're successful, you have so many people around you who will just gas you because your designer and they want to be associated with you. I mean, fashion is like that. You, We know people in the industry that just want to be friends with you because they want to see what they can get from you or clout or whatever. So that's why people always gas you and be around you. So they're not used to people giving them like proper critiques. It's why a lot of um, designers lash out like little kids when they get any form of critique. I mean, Adi Saman does that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Literally banning people from shows. Literally, what he said about Kathy Horn was literally like what I'd res the re his response was almost like what I would expect from like a young teen when Kathy Horn critiqued him and he started saying that Kathy Horn is not even a real writer, that she's a publicist or a blogger. Like, try to say that. There's, that's literally like a high school like teenager response. That's literally like a little kid mm -hmm. latching out. Um, I think just, as well. Just that he's a grown man. So I feel like sometimes they're not used to being critiqued. So that's why you have people saying, cry me a river, because it's, you get so defensive. No, to be fair, what I will say is, I think as well, as humans, we get extra defensive when, like, someone said you've done something morally wrong and you didn't necessarily know you've done something morally wrong. Because with, like, it's one thing for someone to critique you and say your collection was bad. It's uh -huh. another thing to say, hey, you've done this spiteful thing to me or you've done this horrible thing and you personally have no clue you've done that. I think it's easy to suddenly like lash out and be like, what do you mean? Blah, 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 blah. But she should have, yeah, just taken a second, read the criticism and then, you know, approached it correctly. But I think she just lashed out because like, imagine you wrote a piece and people are telling you morally like what you've done is wrong. You're going to be like, what do you mean? Like, Yeah, but I'd have to see what, people are saying though and if they have like exactly. a valid point if, it, the if it's valid i'll just apologize like if if it's valid mm -hmm. i'll just apologize that's it so mm -hmm. you don't have to get defensive or sensitive about it like for example that's why i genuinely think it's about critique because if i think of my own self when i was younger or well, not even younger when i first started my youtube channel people would say things that i didn't say and like give me, like, right hate comments that, oh, you said this, you did mm. that, and I'll get so annoyed. Like, I didn't say that. Da, da, da. But now, maybe because I'm so used to people just misrepresenting what I say 
or some critiques that don't make sense. Like people saying, oh my God, you're always negative. And I was actually like, bro, there's, I talk about so many designers and I'm positive about them all the time. Um, mm. So I don't even, I don't, it's just like, okay, cool. They just decided not to watch any video that I'm being positive. So I won't answer it. So, and I think I've been able to, over time be okay with people doing that because i've been critiqued so much which is fine like critique is fine i'd love that people critique what i say because i don't want to just be able to just say any old rubbish <laughs> i can almost preempt if i'm going to get hate comments exactly what the hate comments are going to say so for example when i because i'm going to um when i'm done with this stream i'm going to clip the part where i was talking about balenciaga and post it as a separate video because a lot of people don't uh, watch the full streams. They're just like, we'll watch a video if I post it. Um, and there are Demna fanboys who Demna cannot do wrong. It doesn't matter under any circumstance, he cannot do wrong. So I'm 100% going to get the comments of, who is this idiot wearing this black zip up that thinks he knows about fashion? What has he achieved? Where Demna has literally been, a, a, is the creative director of, um, Balenciaga and this irrelevant guy is acting like he knows something. That is exact. Trust me, I can put money on it. Someone's going to mm. say that in the comment section. Do I care? No. <laughs> Demna got Demna burners. Got burners. <laughs> <laughs> I do find, like, the concept of hate comments, I do find it really fascinating, though, because I've never, ever Never thought, in my life. Like, if I, if I watch a YouTube video, that's why I don't even know how to, like, the only time I ever comment, actually, is if I have something positive to say yeah, or if it's a yeah, genuine yeah. critique that I think will help the person. But to just say, this guy's an idiot, but bro, it's never even occurred to me mm. to just, like, personally attack someone in the comments. It's just not something mm. that computes in my mind. Mm. So even, mm. like, the, the concept of, like, people spending time out of their day to, like, sit... That's why I, I don't even... I'm just like, okay. <laughs> it's like, mm. damn, you must be going through it right now. <laughs> no, comment and hate and say, I can't wrap my head around it, honestly. This YouTube channel runs on your support. If you want to support the channel, you can subscribe to my Patreon. You'll gain access to exclusive content that includes everything from my Patreon podcast, where I give a behind the scenes insight into the fashion industry, as well as a fashion book club, where I review my favorite fashion books. You can also check out my fashion ebook, which highlights the best fashion journalists to follow, definitions of common fashion terminology, and how to determine what a good source of fashion information is. The links to everything are in the description below.